This video will look at adding fiscal period uh, filtering in ServiceNow. So if you go into any table in ServiceNow, here I'm in the incident table, and you go to any date field in the filter opened, uh, we get a lot of helpful uh, filtering options here. So this month, last month, uh, this year, next year, last year, etc. Um, a common reporting requirement if you are working for an organization that has a calendar that's different than the uh, regular calendar is to be able to report on fiscal periods. So for example, I worked at a school district and uh, our fiscal year was the school year, which went from July 1st to June 30th. So business users always wanted to know things like, well, what have, how did we do last fiscal year compared to this fiscal year? Um, so it's possible in ServiceNow to get fiscal periods into this uh, filtering option, and that's what we're going to look at. So the first step is going to be to install the fiscal calendar plugin. So you go to plugins, and I already switched it to the uh, kind of classic view fiscal calendar. And you see it's this plugin here, com SNC fiscal underscore calendar. I have that installed. Then we can go and if you already have it installed, go and check fiscal periods, see if there's anything in there. Uh, because if there is something in here already, you can't generate uh, another fiscal calendar. Um, so you'll have to use whatever is, uh, maybe somebody else did it already and it's already in here, so you can skip this whole step. If you don't have anything in there, then you're going to want to generate your fiscal periods. So let's do that here. We'll say this is a standard and fiscal unit we'll use uh, quarters and we'll say the start month is, let's say this is like the school district. So start month is 07, start date is 01 and we'll start this. Uh, let's do this in the past because let's say we have some data from previous years. So let's go from 2018 uh, all the way up to say 20, well, let's keep it a nice 20 years, so 2038. And the prefix for the year will be FY. Let's call this SY, like school year. And prefix for the quarter is Q, and for the month is M. That's perfect. So let's generate the calendar. Right, so it gives you this warning message, and don't close the page. We'll say OK. And after a while, it will say record updated and it will redirect you to here. I did pause the video because uh, it can, can take a few seconds. I think it took about 15 seconds. Um, so uh, like, it, like the warning says, don't close the page, just wait. Uh, especially if you've generated uh, a longer fiscal period. You know, I, I did 20 years and only took 15 seconds and this is a PDI. So if you're on a uh, instance that's even subprod, it should be faster than that. Um, okay, so it redirects us to the fiscal periods. Here we are. Great. Um, now, I think if we go back to incidents, I think it automatically sticks those. And let's do opened. Uh, yes, it does. See, it automatically puts in our fiscal period. So now we have last fiscal year next fiscal year uh, and if I do open last fiscal year right it's going to give me stuff uh, from July 1st to uh, June 30th um, but now let's say we go to another table either a custom table uh, let's see if I can find one in here that doesn't have it well before we even do that let's go see where the definition is of what tables get it um, so for that, we go to calendar, calendars for package. And okay, yeah, so only the incident table uh, gets it right now, although we do have a few globals, and I'm, although I don't think those work, right? So in this table, we're defining the package and the calendar that it's going to get. So let's go for something that's not defined. I think if we look at like change request.
let me go here we go opened uh, right we don't have those fiscal periods so let's say we want to add this to change request we'll go back to our uh, calendars for packages and we'll just fire up a new record here and let's say the calendar we want is fiscal year and the package we want is I think it's called change request there's quite a few of them in here yeah change request and fiscal year let's save and then let's also give it fiscal quarter say we'll do an insert and stay okay then we'll head back to change requests and whoops do this do opened and here we go we have fiscal quarter and we have fiscal year um, so just one last thing to note is that for these uh, tables in the global scope like incident and change uh, they have separate packages when we go back to this uh, calendars for package for packages uh, so incident and change because their global scope have their own um, their own package but if you're doing something like um, and i don't have it installed on this instance but like hr uh, which nothing gets installed by default when you do the fiscal calendar it the hr tables don't uh, don't get that uh, then you just define the package by the scope so you do human resources core for example and that will give you those filtering options on all the hr core tables uh, you'd have to add like life cycle events and employee relations if you wanted it on those tables. Um, but it's basically the whole scope it does it for. So that is how to add uh, fiscal period filtering in ServiceNow.